what do I want to wear today? In other words, what hoodie and legging combination am I going to wear today? Um, okay. Hey guys. Why am I using this bottom one? I know it, I'm like in heaven right now. Like it's so right behind me. Today I have a lot of stuff to do. I don't know what to wear for this because I also want to work out. So I kind of want to wear leggings and a hoodie so I can just add a sports bra like later and then just work out. And I've been doing my workouts in the afternoon. I say I've been doing my workouts. I did one workout yesterday. I don't know why I find it so hard to make a combination. Actually, okay, I'm gonna wear my new hoodie. It is a Shadow Hill hoodie. And I actually found this on Depop. I was just like randomly searching for Shadow Hill hoodies because I know that these are so expensive. This is like my new favorite. I'm so excited. I got this for like so cheap. I was like, are you sure you want to sell for this little? And she was like, yeah. So I'm going to wear this and it has to be black leggings, which are behind you. Sorry. One second. Okay. Black leggings. Guys, I'm dying right now. I'm literally dying. I opened my laptop, Um, you know, just to like get some work going for the day. And look at my uh, little screensaver. <laughs> This is literally like a screenshot from the thumbnail of my room tour video. Why is it my screensaver? I literally never did this. This was so funny. Like imagine opening your laptop and just seeing your face. I'm peeing right now. This is so funny to me. Anyways. Oh my god, my I was like, what's wrong with my hair? But my hair is still up from the clip that I put my makeup on with. Like, why do I not? I kind of don't hate this hairstyle. Say if I like pulled pieces out like that and actually brushed it, made it look a little better. I don't know. I feel like I, I don't hate this. Like, I don't hate this. I feel like I should just, like, keep it because it keeps your hair out of your face, but yet you don't need to have, like, in, like, a ponytail or, like, a bun. But I wanted to show you my hoodie. This is my favorite hoodie right now. I don't know. I feel like I should do, like, whenever I get a new piece of clothing or even, like, a new hoodie or, like, a new pair of leggings or something, like, something that I'm obsessed with or, like, sweatpants or something. I should have a little jingle. Like, it should be, like, Sadie's new obsession, the thing that Sadie loves the most in life right now, or something like that, because I just, I get obsessions. Let's talk for a bit. Like, I get obsessions, but I get over-obsessions really quickly. What kind of brain is that? Is that a... Oh my god, there's like a personality trait, and there's a name for it. You get obsessed with certain things so easily, and then, like... Two weeks go by and you're like, okay, I'm done with this. My mom and I, we always joke about how, like when I say that I'm obsessed with a food right now, like I am obsessed with it. We're always like, okay, so this is gonna last two weeks and then I'm never gonna be able to eat it again because I eat it every single day for those two weeks and then I'm done. That's actually really bad for that. I have a feeling this hoodie is not going to be quite like that because I haven't bought a new hoodie in actually a long time. This is a small, I think, like a Shadow Hill small. This is the exact size that I love in hoodies. And what I always look for in a hoodie is the thickness because I don't like it when like this part is all floppy and flat like against you I want it to be like thick and be able to kind of stand up and I want the hoodie to feel thick if you see me buying a hoodie like you can kind of guarantee that it has all of the traits and characteristics that I want because I'm very picky this one is actually perfect I love the color it also has these lightning bolts such a big selling factor for me and I haven't actually seen this one around maybe I'm just not in the loop but I haven't seen many people wear this this exact hoodie so maybe it's old or something amaze yeah but i need to post an instagram oh i'm literally posting an instagram in this hoodie okay but i have my whole draft <laughs> set up for this photo dump i set this up last night at like 12 like i was so excited okay let's post i have to tag meg there we go there velvet caviar is my phone case let's go it is up officially up amazing guys i'm just looking on my flashback for today on snapchat four years ago today was when garage flew me out to montreal into their headquarters and i filmed for their YouTube channel and for my YouTube channel and Q&A &A and stuff. That was like my first ever travel opportunity and big brand sponsorship. I think I had maybe like 20,000 subscribers and maybe it was just because I was Canadian. But like, look at this. This is like me on the plane. So this is a set. It was so cute. It was actually a really, really cute set. And me at the little headquarters. <laughs> You're kidding. Four years ago today. So how old was I? I was 15. See, this is why I love Snapchat. I feel like I could never delete Snapchat because of the memories and the flashbacks. And I think the videos are still up on their channel. I did like a different ways to wear a bodysuit and then I did a Q&A and then I did a try on haul. I feel like I filmed so many things that that was like the most tiring day of my life. I remember because you were just on set on like all day. I remember I was so tired, but I was so happy at the end and we didn't even stay overnight. Like we just flew there in the morning and then flew back. It was crazy. 
crazy. I got up at like 3 a.m. It was so fun. Anyways, it's 11 right now, so should probably get on with my day. I love doing my morning routine, but it takes up so much time. Okay, y'all, it is test time. I have an international markets unit test right now. This is unit three out of four units. So I've been kind of working through this course pretty quickly, yet I love the grades that I'm getting. Do I say this right now or do I wait? Okay, I'm gonna say this right now. <laughs> Wasn't planning on saying this, but I did get into a certain program at a certain university and I found out like a couple of days ago, which is why I'm kind of chilling a little bit on this class. Like I was like, I need to get like 98 on every single project. And I need to like ace every test and everything. And now I'm just kind of have a little more laid back approach because I literally need to get like a 70 average in all six of my grade 12 courses to keep this conditional offer from this university and I am going to be doing a whole video on what universities I applied to, what programs, pros and cons for all of them and obviously my decision and then I'm obviously going to vlog my whole experience. I finished health and nutrition, we're done with that and in this international business course I have two unit tests left and two projects left plus the exam but I also did apply to another program. This is like a whole complicated thing that I don't want to talk about fully now but I am going going to take the test now. This test isn't even hard. It's just the time limit. Like you have 60 minutes. And I remember the first time that I took this test and it was like the unit one test. I was at Starbucks and I submitted it one minute late and I literally wanted to cry because it was like, you cannot submit it one minute late. Like you'll get a zero if you submit it past 60 minutes. And I submitted it at 61 minutes and 34 seconds. I literally emailed my teacher and I was like, girl, like you gotta give this to me. Like I literally have a screenshot of it's like one minute past. He was like, oh yeah, you're fine. You're fine. I'm going to take this test now. But like, is this even exciting? I feel like this is so boring to watch, but this is literally what's going on in my life right now. So I will see you after this test. <laughs> from the opposite side and I just like swivel myself over here um, because there is literally so much snow on this side of the car and I just don't want to get my sneakers dirty. So that's my little routine for the winter. Right now it's actually 111. I've been seeing angel numbers non-stop for the past couple weeks. Like I see 111, 444, and 555 everywhere. Something's about to happen. I don't know what it is, but I'm very excited. Right now I'm going to drop off the clothes that didn't sell on my Depop at Value Village. Then I want to go get salads. My literal favorite obsession. I just posted this on my reel. The best salad ever. My brother and I are obsessed with these grocery store like pre-made salads. I literally have them for lunch every single day and I wish I was exaggerating. Sorry, my car makes a lot of noises because I have to like parallel park between my mom and my brother in my driveway. It's pretty close. And if I scratch my brother's car, he will actually deport me to a different country. Okay. Is my camera gonna fall? Do not fall, do not fall, do not fall, do not fall. Amazing. Okay, I am on my way to do that. Oh, and it's shaking vigorously. Awesome. I don't know where my car tripod is. So I'm gonna have to find that. I'm so happy that I have the rest of the day to literally do whatever I want because I just busted out that unit test in the beginning of the day. I love going grocery shopping. I just put my AirPods in and my camera's definitely gonna fall. I just put my AirPods. Okay, that was like so scary. Remind me never to do that again. Camera literally almost broke, but I just donated and they gave me a coupon. I actually also want to get a car wash. I haven't washed my car all winter. Not once during the whole entire winter. It's just because I feel like I'm gonna wash it and then it's gonna get all snowy and it's just gonna be dirty again. I think I should get the first layer of disgusting stuff off of it. Just one layer off. And I also have a lot of points, so it's gonna be free for me. And I've just been listening to my playlist right now. This is literally the best playlist ever. It's my faves. I listen to this playlist every single day, like without fail, especially in the car. And the songs that are at the bottom are my favorite right now. So if you want to check out my Spotify. It's Sadie Aldis. I'm looking forward for the brighter. Oh, you can see how dirty it is. Look how dirty my freaking windshield is. Oh no, 
no, not doing this right now. Also, look how many cars. One, two, three cars ahead of me. Honestly, not bad, but this is needed. because I thought I was gonna get a free car wash and then there wasn't any place to scan my little card because I don't have a physical card. And then I noticed that I couldn't get it for free. So that was really awkward because I just paid for it. Okay, I have to figure out figure that out when I get home. But I got gas, full tank, clean car. I haven't had a clean car in so long. The moon roof and everything just feels like a completely new car. I just love that. I am still so obsessed with this car. Like, I feel like I mention that in every video, but I just love my car so much. I want to keep this forever. It's just, it's just me in a car. experience. I thought this was going to be really calming, you know, just walking around with my AirPods, listening to music, getting groceries. No, I went to go check out. And once again, I was buying salads for my brother because we were just obsessed with these salads. I just got snow all over my seat. Um, but we're obsessed with these salads. So I was like, okay, I'm going to get two for him, then three for me. I'm at the self checkout and there are so many people waiting. There's like literally 10 people waiting and I flip over the salad. Obviously the cover comes off. Cause why wouldn't it come off? There's like feta cheese just like everywhere on the self-checkout. I swear I was being so careful, but like the cover literally just would not go back on. And there are these people standing like right here. We're not giving me any personal space, not respecting the social distance guidelines. Can I say? And they were just waiting for me and waiting. And I was trying to get the cover back on. I was like, I'm sorry guys. Like I don't know what's going on. Like I don't know why this is happening to me right now. I couldn't get the cover back on. After like 30 seconds of me fiddling with this cover, like people staring at me, it's so embarrassing. So I just don't put the cover back on and I kind of like put it on top and then put the other salad on top of it and just hope that my 437 swimwear bag isn't ruined right now. They're all tucked in back there, so... That was so stressful, I can't even. But like now all of my errands are done and I'm kind of sad because I love running errands. But now I get to work out, so it's fine. I'm going to head home and work out, which will make me feel even better. No. This camera battery is literally dying. No. No. Okay, so my other camera battery died, but I got a new battery. This is the last charged one though, so I'm gonna have to charge the other ones after I work out, but we kind of redid our basement. So we got like new flooring put in. It's definitely not done, but like we also got these shelves. There's a lot of different things. I don't need to explain the whole like basement renovation thing, but this actually used to be my old room. Like before my apartment and everything, this whole area used to be my room, which is kind of crazy. Now it's like my dad's office and stuff back there. Over here, we have a little workout place. So we have like all my brother and my dad's workout stuff. This is actually my mat. This mat is Anna McNulty's mat that she sells and she sent it to me It's the one that's kind of flowery underneath, but it's so good. I love it It's really thick. So it's really good for like yoga and Pilates and stuff But this is where I love working out I just love it because it's like kind of cold down here So you like don't really get very overheated since I'm kind of getting back into working out and I haven't worked out in so long Except for the dance classes that I did. I really the literal strap is in the frame I really want to go back into it by doing things that I actually enjoy doing and by doing Doing, like short workouts a couple times a week because like usually I go into it and I work out so much and I do these workouts that actually kill my body in the first week and then I literally don't want to do it anymore and then I stop 
completely. So in order to avoid doing that, I'm doing Boho Beautiful's Blissful Body Boot Camp is what it's called, but it really is focusing on like easing you into it. So it's exactly what I want to do. This is like my favorite yoga and Pilates person. I used to do Boho Beautiful a lot actually. I've gone through waves of working out a lot and then not working out and then working out a lot. It's not like I'm a complete stranger to this, but like I want this to last basically the whole year. So I'm trying to not like go too hard if you know what I mean. This is from Fabletics. This is from Fabletics. The cross over leggings and I'm gonna do this 15 minute thing. thing also I I know I'm gonna be really hungry because I'm like going right at my lunch time so I'm eating a zucchini and a pepperoni stick if you watched my last vlog you know that I am obsessed with earrings right now and I'm thinking of getting a another piercing like not one down here but like what <laughs> this um, but one up here or something like that. I actually have an idea and Bailey and I are thinking of getting matching piercings But I'm gonna make a whole other video like that But I wanted to start off with getting my third lobe pierced I have a double piercing right now as you can see if I'm gonna be getting like one of the upper piercings I might as well just get the lower one right now So I don't have to get all of them at the same time and they're all gonna be healing and like I can't really sleep on it And it's also supposed to like snow really bad today. So right now it's 11 30 my appointments at 12 I literally just called and I was like hey can I get a third lobe? She was like, yep, how old are you? I was like, 19. She was like, you wanna come in now? I was like, sure. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to film it. I remember last time they told us that we couldn't film it, but I'm so excited. And I just decided to add this into the vlog. Like I was gonna end my vlog and I was editing it last night. I also wanna talk about my little makeup situation. Let me put my zucchini down. This is like my, not everyday, oh, oh. My bun just fell out. I'm doing a low bun so that they can just have access to my ears. The natural makeup that I've been loving recently is bushy brows. So I did brow gel and I just did like little soap brows. I think it looks so cute, especially with like a dewy face. Not like the champagne pop highlight, but the uh, Magic Luminizer RMS like cream highlight like on my nose and like here and here. Mascara mm, and some lip balm. I'm gonna go now, finish my little zucchini. <laughs> We got it. The lady was so nice. She actually like when she was like marking the piercing, she was like, do you have laminated brows? And I was like, Mwah. I love you. It's literally just brow gel. But she was like, those literally look like we do brow lamination. It looks like laminated brows. And I was like, brother, I got them done. Ah! Okay, I'm so excited. Just calm down. This is what they look like. This one, I felt like when they did the double, they put this one when they did the double on more of an angle. So it kind of looks like it's higher up than this one. So she made it go like kind of up my ear. I got one with the longer post. I had literally two options of earrings. It was either this diamond one or like a titanium kind of beige-ish pearl. And I was like, no, I might as well just get the diamond. And it's just better to get long posts for healing because if there's like little crusties in there, you don't want it to get infected. And I got a cleaning solution. I got this done at Carol Baker Visage. That's where I also got my doubles pierced. And I'm going to be ending off this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe and press the bell if you want to see more of my life. <laughs> I love you so much. We'll see you in my next video. Bye.